Hello Wolfpack, this is video number 66. In this video, I'd like to discuss my recent EDC purchases. Uh, today I'll be talking specifically about the Maxpedition EDC Pocket Organizer. Uh, this purchase was a part of a larger purchase for Black Friday sales. Um, and, I was managed, and I managed to get uh, buy one, get one free. So, as, uh, as per my last video, um, I will be giving you measurements in cans and notes. So, I'll start off though. This is how the pack arrived. Um, just, it was in a box and it was wrapped up with, uh, with plastic. No, nothing uh, overly special. Um, measurements I'll get out of the way. So, once again, 425 cans of beans. Roughly about three can uh, widths long. Uh, not very deep, so hang on. So roughly, what, one fifth of a can deep. This is when it's empty, not when it's stuffed. There's nothing in this specific pouch that I'm showing you. Uh, and there was actually one that I missed. Depth. Um, Ah, width of course. So it's roughly about two can widths wide. Um, so starting off, once again, built of uh, high quality materials. Nothing unusual for Maxpedition. Uh, I'll be doing two ratings in this video. One is uh, the features. Uh, and how it rates with manufacturing as well as practicality. So, for example, um, at the top you've got your hook and loop for your power, that uh, for your morale patches, and very proudly I'll put that on. Um, you've got this uh, pocket, I'd say, at the front with the uh, mesh with a Velcro grip. Um, pretty sure these are YKK zippers that run all the way around. They are double sided, so you can go with two side, uh, two, two pulls. Um, I don't know what the denier of the material is. Uh, you'll have to look that up. Um, I didn't want to look up the denier simply because. There's like a dozen videos or more on Maxpedition pouches. Mine's just another one um, for my own satisfaction and purposes. So with that, when you open it up, this is what you get. Um, it opens up quite flat and it's a clamshell design. Uh, I have to be honest with you, Wolfpack. This so far is my favorite pouch out of the Maxpedition range. I haven't received my second box of purchases from Maxpedition. Also, I'm waiting on a box of uh, purchases from VanQuest. But to start off with, this is so far my favorite pouch. This, this seems to be the best design. I love the layout. Um, and I'll be comparing this with the Fatty because the Fatty's a very, very close second. The problem is that I can't tell you what uh, or how much I like the Fatty simply because there was a problem with the manufacturing and I can't give it a fair comparison. So at this point, this is the, the pouch that I really, really, really like. Um, so anyway, back to, back to the, the features um, discussion. You've got left and right. You've got three larger separators or holders at the top. And then two, four, six at the um, in front of that. Uh, you've got two main ones on the right hand side and four here that you can hold stuff with. Um, a point at the back, uh, a little flap at the back on both sides. Um, a little loop and a keychain. Uh, you've also got on the back. Uh, this pull handle with box stitching as well as uh, molly webbing. 
Um, this is how I've laid out currently um, on my in in my other pouch because as I said I purchased uh, two for one. This is how I've laid it out. Love the layout. Love the style. But I do have a feeling that the um, fatty might just overtake this one simply because one of the sh one of the items about this is that you can only store one row of items. So that may be uh, its only downfall. Um, I'll get back to this in a second. Uh, so as far as as far as manufacturing, I give it a very high rating. Um, very pleased with it. It feels very strong, very sturdy. Nothing out of the ordinary with that um, for Maxpedition. With that uh, practicality rating, um, I'm pleased with the practicality rating of this so far, in the reason, except for a few items. Um, so let's start off at the front. Practicality rating. I've watched a dozen videos on this pouch and another you know, all the other Maxpedition pouches. And to be honest, this area at the front, to me, and this is just my observation, is uh, absolutely useless. Um, simply because I've seen, the only thing I've seen stored in this area in other videos and what I've thought of for myself is maybe a notepad. Now who stores a notepad on the outside or maybe a pen? So when you think about it, what can you really store in here? If anyone's got any ideas, please let me know because I just I just don't have a clue as to, pra to its practicality. And the, and the reason being is when the pouch is full up, when the pouch has does have stuff in it, this becomes really, really tight. I mean, there's not that much in here and see how tight it is. What I would have liked to have seen, and this is my suggestion, is that the stitching on the side, it would have been nice to have like a little um, extra padding so that it creates a sort of a mini pouch on, on the front uh, so that it's not so tight up against the, so it's not so tight here, um, so that you've got a little, you know, like similar to this, all right, where my, between my fingers, but just have it with this same mesh, you know, and then that way you can still slide stuff in. But other than that, I don't, really see it as a very practical item on the front. Um, I do like the hook and loop. That's very nice. You can use that, use a lot of uh, or have a lot of purposes for that, for morale and naming and whatnot. Um, inside. Practicality, very practical. Love that clamshell design. Love that it's, uh, that it's this direction. Um, they're both in the same same running direction across across the uh, pack, so you can look at it and you can see everything. These packs where the this side runs um, in the opposite direction irritate me. I, I know why they do it, but it just irritates me. Um, love these little loops. Wish they had two of them. One on here, one on here. Would have been a little bit better. Um, I don't know. I, a lot of people I see rip this off. I don't know why they have it. For me, I just tuck it in behind. It's not really a big thing, but I would have preferred another two two loops on this side. But that's just me because that way you get the practicality of this item as well as uh, loops, and maybe make the loops a little bit bigger. But that, but even that, to be honest, that loop size could um, could be left as is. Uh, there's no no item here, but that's okay. I'm I'm happy with that. Um, practicality, it is very, very practical. Enjoy it a lot. Um, the only other suggestion I would have liked to have had is maybe a little bit of fabric around this, this edge, simply because you could store like the zip ties around the edge, so you've got a bit more depth to it. But that's uh, just my preference. Um, I like to tuck things in in a lot of places. Other than that, I give I, the practicality of this particular pouch is high for me um, because I, I've already used it in the first, I think, like few hours that I had uh, had the pouches once they were delivered. I immediately knew straight away what I could do with it. So, yeah. Um, 
as far as size for practicality, because that's a big thing for me when it comes to practicality size. I've got fat fingers, fat hands, big, big uh, hands, and having something of a decent size really helps. Um, so yes, as far as practicality in relation to size, um, it's a good size, unlike the M1 uh, waist pouch. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. I don't promise to answer them straight away. Ah, I know what I forgot. The $5 um, test for the Aussies. So, um, width, you've got one uh, $5 note, two $5 note, and three $5 notes. So about three $5 notes uh, long. Um, two five dollar notes wide actually I might do this on the outside so one two yeah so three three long two and a bit wide all right so two and a bit and depth it's just it's not very thick just up until the Queen's hair, I suppose. God, God save the Queen. Um, and yeah, just, just uh, that. That's it. I think I've covered all the aspects I wanted to. Um, respect who you are. Respect where you come from. And advance Australia fair. Thank you, Wolfpack. Bye.